hunting we will go, hunting we will go. I owe the man we owe. Hunting. And so it's evening in Columbus, Ohio. Wrapping up the week and we haven't found a thing yet in stock at some of the stores. So I'm gonna come to this Target. It's almost one of our last chances retail wise. We'll see if anyone got here today to stock or not. So fingers crossed, let's see what happens. Here are some of the finds from last week. Um, the mission started outside of Chicago, kind of worked its way around down to Indianapolis, out through um, Ohio, into West Virginia, and then from Wheeling, West Virginia, down to Morgantown, Morgantown across, over into uh, Maryland outside of DC. That was the first leg of the trip. So on the way out, most of the Walmarts and Wal uh, Walgreens and Targets were wiped completely clean. Once I got to Morgantown to the first uh, Walmart that uh, was in West Virginia, this is what I found. About, there were about 10 to 12 boxes in there, so it was pretty amazing. Um, so I decided, why not pick up uh, three of those there, I left the rest there, and then I went down I-68 got down to Cumberland, um, Maryland, and there was another Walmart, and they had a few of these, so I decided let's grab two more. So I had grabbed five total. I've already shipped two off to somebody, and I think uh, there'll be a vid coming out on that shortly, so I'll let you know where that's gonna be. Also, uh, when I got into there, I checked out a couple other um, Walgreens, nothing there, went into Virginia, didn't find anything in stock anywhere even drove down uh, to South Virginia, or Southern Virginia if you want to call it that, down I-81, stopped at an antique mall. All right, we're gonna try to stop here at Duke's Antique Center. I have no idea what we're gonna find here. This could be interesting. Bathtub. Uh, this could be fun. Let's see what there might be. Anybody need a stove? They had a lot of current stuff, but they didn't have any of the 33 Gaudis that I was hoping, you know, I might be able to come across. So, no luck there. Traveled back into West Virginia as far as Beckley. Made a U-turn, came back into Virginia, stopped back at the uh, antique mall there again to do another look. Stopped at one other place. And then basically headed back up toward D.C. and kind of followed my route they had taken out back home. So, I was outside of Columbus, Ohio on Monday night. Checked in, there was a Target, uh, one side of the street, a Walmart and the other. Went to the Walmart, there was nothing there. Went into the Target and look at what I found. There was actually three of these and a bunch of value packs. However, they had a limit of two items per customer per visit, which is probably why there was actually stock there. So I was pretty thrilled just to be able to find hanger boxes on the shelves at $9.99. So that's it. I did make a, uh, one of the antique malls, I, as you might know, we are also looking for old bubblegum for one of our channels that we follow. And let's see, this is, uh, not sure how old this is yet, but it's Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. So this should be pretty interesting. We're going to send that off, and I would anticipate we'll uh, hear about it in the next uh, week or two. So that's kind of it from the finds. I didn't make it to Ohio to the antique mall. Time just didn't allow for it. So I'm going to plan a separate trip just to that location because there are so many different cards there, including 
uh, 48 Bowman, 33 Gaudi, and uh, there may be some other things as well. So the other part of the program, it's mail day, mail day. I came back and I've been expecting a few things here. So let's just take a quick, uh, a quick opening here and see what we have. People are getting pretty creative in some of their packing. We just gotta be really careful on opening it up. So let's see what we've got here. Okay. This is one of our 1910 Mecca cigarette uh, boxing cards. And that is actually in pretty good shape. And look at that color. And again, these are from 1910. There's the back for you on that. And right now they're they're starting to go up in price a little bit. So you've got to be a little uh, Kind of got to get on top of it, be, be careful because some of the pricing can be high. So let's open our second package here, or attempt to anyway, see what we've got. This is an interesting tape job, although I should tape, talk because when I ship, I pretty much should own the market and tape. So here we go. Oh, and here is another one. This has actually got some unusual color to it, so check this out. And again, this is a Mecca cigarette. So, um, add those to the boxing collection that we have going here. And if you notice in the stores, you'll start seeing there's a lot of Topps Chrome uh, WWF stuff. So, really don't know where that's gonna go, what the market's gonna be like for that. That could be interesting and something to watch, but there uh, are plenty of boxes and there's also a lot of blasters of NASCAR still sitting out there. So. For now, no one's going hot and heavy after that. So let's see what we have. I think I know what this is. Yep, here's a 33 Gaudi that I picked up off eBay. This is from 1933, and that's got some good, cor uh, good color. Corners aren't bad, and there's really what I'm trying to find are some of these without creases in them. And it's got that handwriting X on the top, but sometimes that's the way it goes. I got it for really pretty cheap, so. We'll add that to the um, collection of the 33 Dowdy. And that's the mail uh, that was waiting for me when I got back. So uh, we'll keep you updated on where this ends up. And we'll see if it gets eaten. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks as always for visiting. Hit that click button down for subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Put in your comments what your favorite thing was from the uh, video. And we'll see you soon. Take care.